Hello, all my bells. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Also, if you're new and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family. Y'all, today we are going to be making some crunchy garlic shrimp. And the rice is, you don't really have to make rice. If you want rice, you can make it. I just made the rice just to add it to the plate. But y'all, come on in the kitchen so I can show y'all how I made this lovely, 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 loveliness. Y'all see how lovely it is? Don't it look good? Okay, you guys, these are the ingredients you will need. You will need one clove of a garlic, a pound of shrimp. These are 13, 15, so it's 13 to 15 shrimp in there. I believe I counted 16 in there. You need some salt and pepper, some paprika, some unsalted butter. You want unsalted. You don't say it on mine, but I know that it's unsalted butter. You're gonna need some brown sugar. You really don't need this brown sugar, but I want mine to be a little sweet, so I'm gonna probably put like a tablespoon of brown sugar in my uh, sauce. I got this jar because I saw something that if you put this clove of garlic in here and you put the lid on it and you shake it, all the paper is supposed to come off. I don't know how true that is, but we're gonna try it. And you also need some cornstarch and flour. I have cornstarch and flour in here. So equal parts flour, equal parts cornstarch. You wanna put the cornstarch because you want your shrimp to be a little crispy. Okay, you guys, I showed you guys what I'm gonna be using. Right now, I'm about to chop up my garlic. I'm waiting for my grease to heat up, my oil. And somebody told me to do this. Well, I saw this, that the paper will come off. I've been shaking it for a little while. There's some of them that's in there that's, that's off, as y'all can see, it's some that's off. But not the whole thing. But uh, I'm gonna stop because I don't feel like playing with it right now. I really don't. There goes some that came off. So I, I guess it works. So I have my garlic here. Can y'all see my garlic? Yeah, y'all can see it. And we're gonna chop it up. We just gonna chop it up really fine. You can use minced garlic if you want to, but I prefer to use chop, uh, fresh garlic. But I ate this one time on my channel, y'all. And I never showed y'all how I made it. So I said, let me show them how I made it. So today we're gonna show y'all how I made it. When I did eat it, and it was delicious. When I made it the first time, I didn't put brown sugar in the, um, the sauce, but I'm going to put like a tablespoon of brown sugar in it today. Just to see what it's like, if it has a little sweetness to it. I believe I'm gonna brown my butter, cause y'all know I like brown butter. Brown butter makes everything taste so delicious. It really does. I have them in a bowl. I'ma just put a little salt. This is, um, well, this is pepper. Um, so a little pepper, a little salt. You don't need to season them a lot because you know seafood is already salty. And I have some pink Himalayan salt in here. This is the pink salt. I don't want to use too much because you don't want your stuff to be salty. Pepper was fine. You can put as much pepper as you want to put on there because pepper ain't salty. I remember my auntie one time told me that she was, uh, she couldn't have no pepper because it was gonna make her blood pressure high. I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, but pepper don't make your blood pressure high. It ain't gonna make your blood pressure high. Not pepper. <laughs> so you can use as little or as much pepper as you like. I don't think I'm gonna add any more salt. I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want it to be too salty. And then we're gonna add some paprika to it. If you wanna put some spice on here, like you know, some people like it hot, Y'all know I don't. Paprika's not hot. Well, at least it's not to me. But we're gonna mix that up. Then we're gonna take it and put it in our Ziploc bag that we have our flour and cornstarch in here. We got our flour and cornstarch in here. And the cornstarch, you guys, is uh, will make it crunchy. It'll make your shrimp crunchy. That's what the cornstarch is for. You could have just made it in just plain cornstarch, but for some reason, I don't like the way cornstarch make my fried stuff come out. It don't come out that great. Okay, you guys, my oil is ready. So I'm just shaking, shaky, 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 wakey. My thing tells me that my oil is ready. So I got these all coated up, and I'm gonna put them in my fryer. I'll bring my basket over here so you guys can see. Use uh, good grease, don't use old grease because if you use old grease, it's gonna cook too fast. Well, it'll cook 
It'll brown faster than you want it to brown and then it won't be done. Cause y'all know I like my stuff dead three times. About 16 shrimp that I'm putting in here. About 16. So while we wait for our shrimp to um, cook, I am going to show you guys how to do the um, sauce that we're gonna pour over it, the garlic butter sauce. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna put my garlic in here. I probably said, why are you putting garlic before the butter? I'm gonna take it back out, but I just wanna brown it up a little bit before I put the butter in it. So I'm gonna put my garlic up in here. Let it brown up a bit. Okay, you guys, so it's browned up enough that I want it because I'm, it's gonna brown even more once I put the butter, uh, put it back in the butter. So I'm gonna take it off. Then we're gonna take our stick of unsalted butter, one stick of unsalted butter and put it in this pan. Sizzle, sizzle. You don't want your butter to burn. When you're browning butter, you don't want it to burn. You don't want burnt butter. You just want it to brown. So you kind of want to mix it every now and again. It can smell kind of nutty when it's when it's brown. You can tell when it's close to uh, being brown. So that's how I want mine to be. It's kind of like a nutty flavor is what I like. But I'm going to add my garlic back in here. Add all that yumminess back up in there. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I want my, my garlic to kind of like fry up a little bit and turn a little more brown than what it is. So you guys, if you wanted to add uh, salt and pepper to this, you can. I'm not going to add any salt and pepper, but I am going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar just to give it a little sweetness because I like sweet and savory. Some people don't, but I do. But I'm going to wait till the butter cooks a little more. Then I'll add the uh, brown sugar. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna take the garlic out. I just want the garlic out. See how it's gotten brown, nice and brown. I've turned my um, stove off, so it's not, still cooking because the burner is still hot, but it's not uh, on anymore. Take it off. Get a little spicy. I'm gonna add some pepper to it too. So here's my shrimp, y'all. I'm gonna add it in here. Nice and piping hot. I'm gonna just add it in. And you just wanna mix it. Just mix it together. I just have some flavored rice that I flavored with um, chicken bouillon. I'm gonna put a little parsley on it just because. Y'all, these last for a long time. Last longer than the ones you buy, the fresh ones out of the. I'm gonna put that there and We're gonna plate up these here shrimp, so we'll put them like that. If that's what you choose to do, you don't have to do that, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour the butter over the shrimp. Can y'all see me? Yeah, I think y'all can. You can even pour a little bit over the rice if you want to. I'm gonna pour it over the shrimp. And just garnish a little bit, y'all. You just garnish, make it, you wanna make it look pretty. Just make it look pretty. And then also that garlic that we um, burnt up or browned up, you put a little bit of that on top. You see how crunchy and nutty it is? So you can put that. And there you go. Voila. A nice garlic butter, a crunchy garlic butter shrimp. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot, but it's delicious. I'm going to pair this with them, um, the Flor Delicious dipping sauce. That's what I'm gonna dip this in. I think it'll go with that. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I, yummy, 
post the video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh, don't forget to wash your hands. And still wear your mask, even though people ain't out there wearing them, but still put your mask on. I wear mine, y'all. I'll be the only fool in the store with a mask on. That's me.